Is Acellus Academy the same thing as Power Homeschool, but with a premium price tag? Can your child get their entire K through 12th grade education through the Acellus Academy online school? Let's review the entire Acellus Academy program and decide if this is really the best virtual school around, or if you'll someday regret using this for your child's education. We'll start with the basics. Acellus Academy is an accredited online virtual school for kids in kindergarten through 12th grade. The program is done entirely online with minimal parent involvement. It's really an open and go online school program that includes everything you need to homeschool your kids. And since it's an accredited school and not just an online homeschooling program, your child will also get a transcript and a diploma upon graduation. This is not the same thing as Power Homeschool, but we'll get into that more later in the video. Acellus Academy offers three different pricing levels. The basic level includes up to six courses at a time and costs $249 a month or $79 a month with the Roger Billings Scholarship, which is open to everyone. All you have to do is agree to watch one live lecture a week and leave a comment to prove that you watched it. You can even watch it on demand if you missed the live session. The enhanced tuition option costs $349 a month or $174 a month with the Roger Billings Scholarship. This plan includes up to eight courses at a time, career guidance counseling, high definition lessons, and the Acellus Social Club. Finally, there's the premium tuition option for $499 a month. This plan includes up to 12 courses at a time, a gold book locked computer, and priority support for students and parents. This plan does not include the Roger Billings discount. You can save on all of the plan options by purchasing an annual subscription. Once you sign up, you'll need to enter your student's information, pick their grade level, and choose their courses. Acellus Academy has many course offerings, including AP courses for high school students, so you want to spend some time selecting the right courses. Once you complete your initial setup, you'll have access to the parent and student dashboards. I'll show you both but let's start with the parent dashboard so we can see how to set things up when you're just getting started. To use this on a desktop computer, for the parent section, you'll need to download the Acellus app and create a pin. You can also get the app on mobile devices. Once you sign into the app, it will look like this. You'll see your students here, and if you click on one, you'll get an overview of their progress. You can view active, completed, and archived courses here. You'll also see your student's current GPA, their time spent online this week, and work completed. If you click here on student account, you can edit your child's basic info and print a sign-in card. Under parent access, you can add access for an additional email address. Reports is where you can run reports for your child, such as course summary, work completed, student hours, and student achievement data. If you click on Manage Enrollments, here is where you can make changes to the courses your child is enrolled in. You can also add an additional student, request a transcript, and order ID cards. You can see your billing details here, and this is where you would go if you need to cancel your membership. You can also get a verification of enrollment here. Over here, you can enable or disable social-emotional learning and robotics dance programming. Down below are the courses your child is enrolled in. Click the edit button to make changes to the course and grade level. You can also adjust the weekly goal here, depending on how much work you would like them to complete each week. So that's what the parent dashboard looks like. Now let's take a look at Acellus Academy from the student's perspective. Students can log on either on the website or through the app. They'll need their Acellus ID and password to log in. On the main screen here, they'll see the courses they're enrolled in. This is the view for fifth grade. The view might look a little different for the younger kids or for high school students. Students can choose any course to get started working. You can see the days of the week under each course. These show a check mark once all of the work in that course has been completed for the day. Once complete, students can still work ahead on the next lesson if they choose or they can move on to a different course. With Acellus Academy, 
Unlike most online homeschooling programs, you aren't going to be able to skip ahead through the videos or skip over any lessons. And there's no option to start in the middle of a course or anything like that. You just have to do the whole grade level for each course. Although you can move your child ahead to the next grade level if the work isn't challenging enough, or move them back a grade level if the work is too difficult. Be careful doing this though, because you're going to need to delete the course that you were in, and I don't think they're going to save your progress if you change your mind and decide to go back to the grade level that you were working in before. They have course overviews on their website that can help you decide which grade level to start with. Since there's no skipping around, it's best if you start your child with the right grade level to begin with. Remember, it doesn't need to be the same grade level for each course. When you open a course, the lessons usually start with a video to introduce the concept. Then there will be a section to check for knowledge and additional activities depending on the course and grade level. Acellus Academy also offers what they call vectored instruction. This is a tool designed to identify and address learning gaps in real time, so students should really grasp the concept before moving on to the next topic. Up here, they can see their course progress, progress toward the daily goal, and a menu of additional resources. Open this up, and students can see their current class grade, steps needed for each day of the week, and an Acellus tutorial. Textbook will show a written version of the lesson, which is a nice feature, although there doesn't seem to be any way to print it. Lesson list will show your child's progress through the course and all of the included lessons. Unfortunately, you can't skip ahead, but you can go back and review a lesson that has already been completed. Lastly here is ask a question. I have to admit I'm not sure what this is all about. I thought maybe it was some sort of AI chatbot or maybe a feature to send a question to an expert, but so far I haven't received any responses to my requests for help. I also wish you could access this area without having to open up a course first because the video just starts playing and you have to pause it. It's kind of not the best setup in my opinion. Let's look at an example of a lesson now so you can see what they're like. Cliff dwellers. Who were the cliff dwellers and why did they live in cliffs? Vocabulary. Mesa. A high flat land form that rises steeply from the land around it. Drought. A long period without water. Living on the cliffs. If you look at this picture, it's very interesting because it's very detailed. Here you see the mountain cliffs, and you see what looks like a little city that was carved out of the cliff. Down below here are some additional options. Library is where students can go to find books, although it isn't showing anything here. I contacted Acellus about this, but I haven't gotten a response yet. I'll update you in the comments if they respond. Activities is where kids can find some additional activities, including Science Live, which they will need to access in order to keep that Roger Billings scholarship. Sign in and leave a comment on the latest video to get credit. The rest of the activities here are locked until students have completed all of their lessons for the day. Classmates is where they can find and connect with other Acellus Academy students. Stats is where students can view their current GPA, gold learning credits, time spent by subject area, writing stats, course progress, and trophies earned. Profile is where students can use their gold credits to change their theme, edit their bio including photo, and view their stats and activity. Up top here they can also get to their profile 
and view any notifications. So that's what Acellus Academy looks like from the student's perspective. But there are a few more important things that I need to share with you. The first is about grading. Unlike some other online homeschooling programs and curriculums, Acellus Academy does 100% of the grading, so you will not be required to grade anything as the parent. You will be able to adjust the weekly goals for your student and track their progress, but you will not be grading any of their work. As far as contacting the company with questions, this wasn't the best experience. There's a chat feature, but it isn't very helpful. It seems to be just an AI assistant with very little information. There's no way that I can find to chat with a real person. You can call, which I didn't try because I just really can't stand making phone calls, or there is a form you can fill out. I'm still waiting for a response to my questions about the library and the ask a question feature. I do wish they had a chat feature with a real person to help you the way some other programs do. I also want to talk a little bit about the difference between Acellus Academy and Power Homeschool. Power Homeschool only costs $25 a month per student. So I know a lot of people want to understand why they should pay more for Acellus Academy. So here are the main differences. First, Power Homeschool is a curriculum, Acellus Academy is a school. And that means Power Homeschool cannot be accredited and cannot issue transcripts or a diploma. Now, if you're homeschooling in the U.S., in most cases, you as the parent will be creating the transcripts and issuing the diploma. If you need more of an explanation on this, I do have a whole video on my channel about the difference between an online curriculum and an online school. But the bottom line is, if your kids are in kindergarten through eighth grade, you probably don't need a cellus. Once your kids start high school, it does get a bit trickier. If you're absolutely certain that your kids will not be attending public school, then you probably don't need this. But if there's a chance that you're going to need a transcript from an actual school, so your kids don't have trouble when switching back to public school down the road, this might be a good option. If you're nervous about issuing a homeschool diploma and transcript, you might get peace of mind having a Cellus Academy be able to do that for you. Other than that, it's basically the same thing as Power Homeschool. The interface is a little different, and I'm not sure if they have any plans to use the new gold program for Power Homeschool in the future, but the courses are the same. If you want to learn more, I do have a full video of Power Homeschool on my channel that you may find helpful. I also want to give you some information specifically for high school students using this program. In order to graduate from Acellus Academy, a student must earn a total of 24 credit hours, six of which must be from Acellus Academy. So if you're switching from another program or school, you'll need to get those credits transferred over. You might also be interested in their science fair. Acellus runs a yearly science fair for students ages five and up with submissions due in April. There is also a robot dance contest. Information about both contests can be found on their website. So that's everything I have to tell you about Acellus Academy. Now for the part of the video where I tell you what I like about it and what I don't like as much. First, what I like about Acellus. Well, as far as an online virtual private school goes, this is probably the most affordable option out there, especially if you take advantage of the scholarship. So that's nice. I like the newer interface, especially compared to Power Homeschool. They have a good selection of courses, and the curriculum is thorough and presented in a way that should be easy to follow for students. I also like that it can be pretty much hands-off for parents that need that option. Other than just checking in to make sure your child is staying on track with their work, there isn't anything else you need to do. Now for what I don't like as much. Well, if your child isn't in high school yet, I don't like that you're getting basically the same thing as Power Homeschool, but with a more expensive price tag. If you don't need the transcript and diploma, you might as well save your money and get the curriculum through Power Homeschool. I also don't like that there is absolutely no way to skip over a lesson, although that is to be expected with a virtual school, which, as I've said, is very different from a homeschooling program. And I did notice some technical difficulties with the program, which seems unprofessional to me, especially from a company as well known as this. And for some students, the videos may be a bit dry and uninteresting depending on the lesson. My final thoughts? 
If you're stuck choosing between Power Homeschool and Acellus Academy, save the money and go with Power Homeschool. If you're homeschooling in the U.S. and following the laws for your state, you really don't need someone else to issue a diploma and transcripts for you. Unless there's the potential for your child to want to transfer to a public school after ninth grade, an online school is not really necessary. But if you have a reason for needing your child to be enrolled in an accredited online school, you probably aren't going to find a more affordable option than this. If you have any questions on Acellus Academy or just homeschooling in general, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to help. Or if you've used this program and want to share your thoughts to help others make an informed decision, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching.